It's Wednesday, June 28th, and I've got three free best bets for you. Let's go. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Noble Living, back with another DYF Bets video where I'm breaking down my favorite picks, plays of the day as we just try to get to the bag and make some money. The dismal June has continued. Oh, my goodness. We just can't catch a break, baby. We just cannot catch a break. Yesterday, we go 0-3 on the day again. Astros lose on the money line. Blue Jays give up a run in the top of the fifth inning, so they lose that money line. And the D-backs and the Rays under, I mean, that could not have gotten any worse. I mean, and we're talking about a three-run home run in the first inning, in the bottom of the first. Then you talk about four runs in the top of the second, giving up by a gallon. I mean, I, who could have predicted that? And that is literally what it's been all month for me. But listen, I'm still here, and I'm still fighting. And I'm going to switch it up today as I've been trying to find some just different angles to find some winners. And hey, listen, you guys just need to fade me. I might need to fade myself, in all honesty. So probably what I might have to do is like all the games I think about taking, I just need to take the opposite side because that's really what's been working. But I promise you we're going to get back on track here. It's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. So let's keep this marathon going. we got a long season. That's why bankroll management is key. So make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so this way you can stay up to date. You can see our year to date record right here. We're going to get this number back over 500 real soon on the year-to-date side. So let's dive into our first best bet of the day, and let's start climbing. So for my first best bet of the day, I'm going to the Padres, the Pittsburgh game, and I'm going with a no-run first inning in this one. And I'm getting at really good odds on Bovada at minus 110. You could shop around on your book as well. You might even probably get it at better odds. And truthfully, I really like this here. We've got Blake Snell on the mound, and he's facing Rich Hill. Now, Blake Snell has been one of the best forms of any pitcher in all of baseball over the, like, the last month or so. I mean, he's been completely locked down, shutting out batters left and right, striking out guys, doing his thing. And he's been really strong in the first inning as well. He's been 11 and 4 on the year on Nerfies, and including hitting his last two in a row. So I really love to see that. And on the other side, we have Mitch Keller, and he's been regressing a little bit in all honesty in his full games, but he has been strong in the Nerfie as of late. He's 10 and 6 on the year, and he's hit his last five in a row. So we love to see that. I love to back Nerfie trends when pitchers are in a rhythm. You love to see that. That just shows you that they come out ready to pitch, ready to get the game started, and you love to see that. And when you look on the other side, these lineups have not been that strong in the first inning either. The Pirates have a 74% Nerfie success rate, and they have not scored a run in 12 straight games. That's right, 12 straight games that they have gone without scoring a run in the first inning. Now, the Padres have been better during the first inning. They have about a 67% no-run first inning success rate, but they have not scored a run in three straight matchups. So not as long as a sample size there, but hey, still a little bit of a streak. But the thing that I really do like to see is that the Padres have struggled with right-handed pitchers all year long. I mean, it's been one of the biggest problems for their team, why they're underperforming. And I think this is why we're getting the value here because, frankly, the big bats for the Padres at the top of the lineup, we've got Tatis, we've got Machado, we've got Soto. Well, they just haven't been able to do it consistently, and especially in the first inning. I mean, yes, we're always susceptible at any time of these guys to knock one out, but I really think today is a good pitching matchup. We're getting at really good odds and value here. So give me the Padres in Pittsburgh. No run first inning is my first best bet of the day. For my second to best bet of the day, I told y'all I'm going to switch it up until we find success. Now, I'm looking at the WNBA as today's shakeup. Now, last night, I hit on the Dallas Wings in the Telegram group. So make sure you're clicking the link in the bio so this way you guys can stay up to date on all our plays. But hopefully today, we can hit on one in the show. So I've been tracking and watching WNBA pretty rightly this so far this year. And I enjoy it, actually. It kind of reminds me very much of college basketball, which if you know, that's my favorite sport to handicap. And a lot of times in college basketball and just in basketball in general, you get certain situations that allows you to exploit certain opportunities. That's why I love betting that sport. And one of those opportunities that I'm seeing today is a prop angle that looks just a little bit off. And that is Della Doan over six and a half rebounds. So let me break that down real quick. In the last matchup for the Mystics, their leading rebounder and starting center, Shakira Austin, she actually got injured. She hurt her hip in that matchup. And now she's out for about three weeks or so and if you don't know how like kind of the WNBA playoff format works it's not decided by conference like it is in the NBA it's just the top and the best eight teams so the Mystics right now they're 
finding himself in the number four position in the playoff standings. But now with their leading rebounder and second leading point scorer out, guess what? This team is going to have to adjust. They're going to have to figure out how to play without her. They're going to have to figure out how to get, you know, some different flows of offense and different flows of defense in there. But guess who steps up when your team gets hit hard? That's right. The absolute stars, the veterans. And that's what Elena Deladon is. You don't even have to follow the WNBA. You just got to be a hoops fan to understand and know who Elena Deladon is. She's one of the coldest basketball players who's probably played over the last decade or so. Now, Washington is definitely going to need her now to step up if they expect to hold their position in this playoff race. And today's an opportunity for them to do that because they get to face the Atlanta Dream, who are currently number seventh in the playoff standings. And this is a pretty big chance for both of these teams to pick up a critical win. And I believe both of these teams are going to play hard. And the Dream have also shown that they'll give up plenty of rebound opportunities just because of their size. And look, in their last game, they gave up 11 rebounds to Brianna Stewart. In their game before that against Dallas, they gave up 13 rebounds to Jones on the Suns. So they've shown that they will give up rebounds to the forwards. So now when I look at this matchup and I'm like, okay, the Mystics are going to be without their leading rebounder. So they're starting center. And then the Dream also tend to give up a lot of rebounds. Della Don is averaging 6.3 rebounds per game. And Austin was averaging 7.8 rebounds per game. So those rebounds are going to have to go somewhere. Della Don is typically one of the tallest players on the court, even if even not at center, just because she plays that kind of roaming forward role. I believe this is the perfect opportunity in a type of a playoff atmosphere, even though it's still a little bit early in the season. I think this is a great opportunity for the Mystics to come out, show why they're a playoff team, be able to grab a win, show how this team is going to adjust to the injury that they're going to have to get used to over the next few weeks. And Elena Deladon should be able to grab six and a half rebounds. The opportunity is there, and I really like this play for my second best bet of the day. For my third and final best bet, we're going through a two-leg player prop parlay. Again, we're switching it up, just trying to find an angle here. And we're going with Lane Thomas and Marcus Simeon over one hit. So do we just need them to get one hit apiece? Parlay that on FanDuel, you'll get to about plus 103 odds. Now, when I typically analyze games, if you've been tapped into the show, I hope that you have. Hope you've been enjoying it. Give me a comment and let me know if there's something that you want to see more of or that I should improve on. You guys typically know I that I watch a lot of pitchers. Like, I like the pitching matchup. That's the, kind of the main thing that I base a lot of my game predictions on. But today, I'm looking at the lineup because we got two hitters that have been in really, really great form. Now, let's start with Lane Thomas. Not only is he coming off that game last night where he drove in two runs in the top of the 11th inning and it gave the Nationals the lead and the win in that 7-4 win over the Mariners. He's been an absolute machine this month. Lane Thomas, in his last 25 games, he's gotten a hit in at least 21 of them. That's what we love to see. Also, he's gotten at least two hits in three of his last four matchups. So today, he's going against Logan Gilbert, who's coming off a really strong outing against the Orioles, but he has shown that he's been vulnerable at times this year. He gave up six hits to the White Sox this past Last week another eight hits to the angels in the game before that so the form that thomas has been in i'm willing to bet that he can get at least one hit against gilbert who's shown signs of inconsistency especially against strong lineups or teams that hit the ball well like the nationals have been doing so i think that we should be able to get a favorable matchup thomas should be able to get us one single one double just one hit on the board against gilbert for our first leg of the parlay now, for the second leg of the parlay, I like Simeon for the same similar reasons that I like Thomas. I think the pitching matchup is a favorable one, and I just think that his form works out in his favor. In his last four games, he's gone over two hits or more in each of those games. He's also been strong against left-handed pitchers as well. He's facing Joey Wentz for the Detroit Tigers today, and we know Joey Wentz is not the strongest pitcher in the majors. He's been inconsistent at times. We've even seen Simeon hit Wentz at before. He's hit him in one of three chances in the past, and because because of that and just the form that Simeon has been on against left-handed pitchers, it's just hard for me not to back Simeon here. He's batting 357. That's his average against left-handed pitchers over the last month or so. And in his last 31 games where the Rangers have won, he's had a hit in at least 29 of those games. So I really think the Rangers are going to win this game. They're big favorites on the money line in this matchup. I do like the run line as well. So if they are going to win this game, the numbers are telling us that Simeon is going to be a contributor in that process. Process. So give me him to take one hit against the inconsistent Joey Wentz and then also Lane Thomas to give me a hit against Logan Gilbert where you never know what type of form you're going to get. I think both these hitters who have been locked in all month should be able to get us one hit apiece. Parlay it, double your money as our final and best bet of the day. 
All right, guys. Well, that's it for me today. We're looking to get back on track. I do appreciate y'all tapping into the channel. As always, I promise you we're going to turn this ship around. We're just trying to wade the water until college football. Just wait. I'm telling you, just wait. College football, we're about to go crazy. So as always, I appreciate the support. Make sure you're liking the video. Drop a comment. It really helps the algorithm. really helps us to continue to grow to get to more eyes. And if you need some more picks and analysis, because today is a Wednesday travel day, if you want some of my early picks, click the link in the bio so this way you can join the telegram group it is free so that way you can learn more and we can just become better betters dictate your fate let's make some bread i'll see you tomorrow later